I got quite a random request the other day from a client, and it was, can we replace the button in the header with an image, and spe specifically a meat cleaver, which was super random. The request itself was random anyway, but then being a meat cleaver was the cherry on top. So I thought, okay, let's try and do it. Let's try and figure it out. How do we get an image to replace the button? So I figured it out and I thought, okay, it's a niche request, but someone may find this useful. So I'm gonna take you on over to the screen and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I said that the client wanted a, a cleaver in the top right, and this is why. So they wanted basically this cleaver up in the top right. And so I thought, well, why not show you the exact site that I'm working on? Just a side note, how cool is this? So you can hover over various sections of the pig. And when you click, it will actually take you to a page with another pig. And then that will take you down to various sections of the page. So shameless plug of my own work, but yeah, very cool. So first thing you want to do, if you want to replace uh, the button with an image, is to actually enable the button. So go into edit and you want to edit site header. Then you want to go into elements and enable the button, which will show us the button. So we'll hit save. And then what we want to do is add our code. So if we go back and into design and then custom CSS, I'll show you code. So the code is up here. The first thing we want to do is hide the button. So we want to add header actions, action CTA, which is this, um, and button display none. And that will get rid of the button, but it will keep the class there. So then what we want to do is actually add our image in. So we're adding after the header, header action, action CTA, we're adding the image. So what we're doing is actually we're hiding the button element, but we're not hiding the overall element, which is the CTA. Maybe a little bit confusing to grasp, but literally just copy the code and it won't matter. So I'll get rid of these. Here we go. So header actions, action CTA, and then we want to add our background image. So the background image is the image that we want to put in. So you can see this is the URL. How did I get this? Well, if you go into manage custom files, you can upload your images there. So it needs to be under, I think it's 20 megabytes. So upload it into here. And then once you've got it, just click it and that will give you URL. So it'll paste the URL in once you click. I'll just get rid of that. There we go. Okay, so that's in. And then we want to add a background size of contain. And then we want the background repeat to be set to no repeat. So if I was to take no repeat off, you can see that it would start to repeat which we don't want. So make sure that's on no repeat. And then if we took uh, contain out like so, you can see it's just, it just doesn't work. So then we want to add our padding. So the padding is going to be basically the size of the image. So if we want to make the image bigger, we can go 3.5, you know, we could go six, we could go as big as we want realistically, but I needed something in keeping with the size of the logo across, across the header. So I've gone with 2.5. And it's not, I don't know whether it was just this image or what, but it's not perfectly sized. Um, it's not perfectly in line. So I've added a margin on the top of 20 pixels. So if I was to take that out, you can see it's not quite lined up with the other logo, which isn't ideal. So for my personal circumstance, I'm going to keep the margin in. This is completely optional for you. In fact, what I will do is. I will just put a comment here that says completely, if I could spell completely, don't even know if that's right, completely optional. Anyway, so let's put that above actually. Stick that there. And then this is an optional step. It depends what image that you're going to put in, but just so you know, it is available as an option. And I think, I think that is that. So this code will be in a blog post as usual, linked in the description. If you did find this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.